Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Xbox Game Bar. So how to actually record your screen with the Xbox Game Bar. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now it should already be installed as an integrated component of the Xbox app in Windows 11. So it should already be a part of it. But in case you don't have it yet for some reason, the previous video on my channel up here in the right corner shows you how to download and install the Xbox Game Bar. In case once again you're struggling with that or you don't seem to have it, just make sure you click on that one if you need to. Okay, now actually first before opening the Game Bar, because there are cases where your Game Bar might not open, normally you use the Windows key and G, but there might be scenarios where it wouldn't open for you. So I'm going to show you two quick things here, just in case. So I can go right here, actually go to settings. Now here you want to go down to gaming, and as probably already you can see here, Game Bar, we click on it. First of all, of course, make sure that this is on right here, so that it's enabled. Or you could also go up here and type for updates right here. And as you can see, I'm up to date, but you can also do check for updates because just generally updating windows might actually help in case the xbox game bar might not be working because it can actually be a factor that your pc that windows is not up to date and so does that maybe the xbox game bar might be affected by that so just keep it in mind as an option and you just click check for updates here probably done that in the past and just make sure you're up to date and so now if we're actually here, I want to go ahead and do the Windows key plus G. As I said, which will show up the game bar right here. And as you can see, for me currently right now, it's showing up. Now do keep in mind that if you click anywhere else on the screen, as you can see it will be gone. So make sure that you stay within the app when you're using it. But don't worry, I will show you that. Now, so as you can see here, we have the general layout. It isn't really necessarily like the other apps. It is quite different. And as you can see here, we have the capture window, which of course allows us to take captures, record the screen, audio, mute the microphone or not. Here we have the actual audio widget. We have some performance even here. This is optional, but as you can see down here, performance i can actually just select and deselect these right here as you can see if you don't want to see them you can actually hide them as you can see and just make them reappear as simple as that you can also go to your xbox social because it's of course related to xbox you can also use the xbox social send screenshots to friends i'll show you that as well and then here in the widget menu as you can see well we have once again these four widgets right here so audio to xbox social here you can also open other apps for example like armory crate which is the one i have right here on my desktop armory crate basically is uh, for my driver so it puts my drivers up to date but it also shows the performance of my pc currently you can do the gallery where you have all of your screenshot captures and recordings spotify many more basically so these are some widgets you can even go to widget store and add some more so it's always nice that you have those options you can also enable click through right here and you can also go to settings, which I'm going to do right now. So here, same briefly, I don't have to go over too much here. So you can use tips when you start a game. You also have compact mode, everything that has to do with notifications. You can also, by the way, click to edit more preferences in Windows settings. This will actually bring you back to the game bar right here, if there's some things you have to still figure out here. You can see widgets right here. You can actually select this one here, record in the background while I'm playing a game. It'll actually just be playing in the background. So that's actually a pretty important one. I advise you to check that one, specifically if you're recording a game. So there's also optional right here, as you can see. This allows you to take the audio from the game as well, if you wish to do so but i of course have it disabled in this case and then same here for armory crate and spotify specific settings now here in shortcuts is actually pretty important. Here you have, so as I said, have the game bar. If you want to make it appear, it's the Windows key plus G. But if you click right here, now do make sure that whatever shortcut, whatever keyboard, key binds really you're doing, make sure you either choose Control, Alt, or Shift before doing anything. So if, for example, I want to make this Control plus G, you can see right here, I can just go ahead and save that. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind here. If you want to use a key bind for one of those right here, one of the shortcuts, just make sure whatever key or whatever, whatever number or letter, just make sure that you do either Control, Alt, or Shift while holding it. Then here's some personalization, same you have to click through again with the mouse. You can reset the positions, nothing too important here. Here you also have some info, a gift from some feedback, of course you can rate it. And also as we saw earlier, if you have some problems you might be running into, of course make sure to contact them. Now here in the actual audio part, I want to go over here, as you can see we have a tab that's called mix. Now mix is going to be your output, so in my case it's my speakers, specifically my headphones, because all of the audio actually goes through my headphones, so that's why I select this one. This obviously is going to be the volume. This is going to be of specific apps, as you can see right here I'm using for example OBS, so I can actually change the volume volume of OBS, but it could be YouTube, Spotify, whatever else really. So that's also, of course, always useful. And if you go to the voice tab, you might have guessed it. This is actually why you see the microphone. Now, actually, you can see live. It isn't really following my voice that well. It might be laggy a bit, especially because I'm recording. But this, as you guessed, is the input. So you just want to select your microphone here. Or if you're, for example, using a software like Voice Meter, you can actually go ahead and specifically choose anything within Voice Meter. If that's, of course, something you're using with. with. Otherwise, just select your microphone. And same for the communication output right here. You can also change that to something different if you need to. And then 
of course, let's get performance out of the way as well. It shows your CPU and GPU, your VRAM, RAM, and FPS. So if you want to click on one specifically, like for example, it should only show my GPU pretty much right here. And as you can see, it shows in waves as well. Same for VRAM, RAM, and the FPS as well. That's for games. I'm actually going to show you as well with a game. So don't worry about that. I'll actually show you as well what that will look like while actually recording it. I do also want to mention if you go to control bar here that you have the multiple apps right here that you might use, like for example, a game like World of Warcraft or Minecraft, the Xbox app itself, Armory Crate. So you can have multiple apps that you use on a regular basis right here. Just at one click away, you actually go ahead and uh, launch them. Now, of course, best for last here, we have the capture window. But yeah, here, the first option here is going to be take screenshots. So as I mentioned already earlier, we have a shortcut for that, which is going to be Windows Clip plus Alt plus the print screen. It should also be on your keyboard. It's actually on the right side. This might be different on your keyboard, but it should be next to your F12 key. But in any case, you can also just click on it, of course. And there you go. It's as simple as that. As you can see, it already goes to my captures. But actually, before that, I also want to show you how to actually capture your screen, of course, how to record, because that's probably the main reason you're here. As you can see, I fired up World of Warcraft quickly just to show you an example here. As you can see, it also recognizes nice here world of warcraft that it's the game i'm playing so what you simply want to do then is click record now when you're recording only stay within world of warcraft in this case or any other game that you're playing if you're for example doing a game because as i said if you switch windows it's going to automatically stop the recording so keep that in mind it's very important it's a little bit annoying if you get used to it and if you only want to record some fast clips or anything like that it doesn't really matter but anyway i'm just going to click start recording once again you can also do a key bind like for example windows key plus alt plus r but once again i'm just going to click here so as you can see right here I'm just flying around a little bit here. I think the FPS is also really good. It should be at a 60 FPS as well. So that's also something that's really nice. I might actually also see above here in the recording, you can actually mute it or you can actually stop the recording as well. If the window right here, as you can see, so that's also really nice. And yeah, then you can just do the Windows key again plus G and you can click stop recording right here. And as you can see, game clip recorded. And then if we are back here and we actually go to see my captures, as you can see right here. Now, of course, the resolution isn't that good because it's pretty minimized. It should be HD and 60 FPS. But if I click a little bit on it right here, now keep in mind, I didn't record any audio so you won't hear any audio but as you can see it's pretty fluid it really does get the job done right here as you can see now what you can also do of course is go to open file location here you click continue and you might have guessed it that just shows where you saved it and the exact path above here you can also of course alternatively click on this one right here same thing and of course for example also delete it if you don't need it anyway now last thing i want to mention and definitely not least is that there's actually something you can do within this tool which is actually very useful if you go for example right here you're actually able to record last 30 seconds as you can see right here now that literally means the last 30 seconds seconds of a gameplay whatever you are doing a good example is actually if you're for example playing fifa and you scored a goal well logically you can actually go 30 seconds back in time and it will take actually the 30 last seconds in form of a recording and you actually be able to revisit that to actually save it as a capture same here to actually go to your captures and you can actually go back to it and it will actually be saved so this is a very interesting and unique feature do keep that one in mind and of course the screenshots as well through the xbox social right here and send them to your friends if you want to share any screenshots it's also very useful for that it's not the best screen recorder out there i would say but it definitely gets the job done in terms of like smaller recordings taking screenshots as i said together with the xbox social it definitely has a lot of interesting and useful aspects to it and so as i said it should be integrated on your pc and if once again you don't have it you can go back to that video at the beginning of the video right here and actually explain you how to download and install it but yeah, as i said it should be integrated if you've never even considered using it you should and it will record games better than most other recording software so do keep that in mind but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial of course if you have any questions leave them down below please leave a like would be really nice subscribe would also be really nice and hope to see you guys in my next video bye